Okay, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to touch on uh, putting, have uh, learn some skills on putting today. And in particular, we're going to start to look at eye dominance and what eye dominance can do for your putting, how it can affect your putting, and how a little bit of understanding of your eye dominance can definitely help with a number of things. So what is eye dominance? Um, most people don't know whether they're left or right eye dominant, but basically what happens is we obviously we see out of two eyes, right? And we, we see more out of one than the other, and it could be your left and it could be your right. Most people are different. Most, well, most people are different. It's just a stupid thing to say. Uh, people are different. They're either left or right. So basically the easiest way to check what your eye dominance is is to, like I get people to, to do this and make a little triangle, right? And they can see through that triangle, right? Hello. And what, so, and you'll just point at something, right? And whatever that might be, like a PowerPoint or a golf ball or just something in the distance. And then what we get them to do is, while looking, you know, through here, we'll close one eye and then close the other eye and then close one eye and close the other eye. And what happens is when one of your eyes is closed, the image will stay the same, right, through here. And then when the other eye is closed, the image will move. And that's because you're seeing through your, what you see in two eyes, you'll see out of one eye. And for me, it's my left eye. I'm left eye dominant, that one. Most people are right, but I'm a little bit different, I'm left. And so there's a couple of things that can be affected uh, in your putting and in your golf swing, depending on what eye you're dominant. So, so here's an example with dominant eye. So with, for me, for me, I'm left eye dominant, right? So I'm seeing out of my left. Now, when I take a golf swing, right, I can easily move my head this way, back this way, and I can still see the ball here, right, as I swing back. That's an easy thing for me to do. Now, I see people set up all the time with their head tilted slightly forward this way, okay? And straight away, I see they're right eye dominant. And I, and I see um, often, you know, people are asking their students to, to move their head this way. But if you're right eye dominant, and you move your head this way, all of a sudden, if, you know, basically the, the way to tech is to, you know, just cover your left, right? So when I cover my left eye and my head goes like this, I'm losing, I can't see the golf ball. I'm losing sight of the golf ball. So the right eye dominant person doesn't want to tilt their head this way. The left eye dominant person does. Now I hope that, that makes sense. So when I set up with my putting, because I'm left eye dominant, is my front eye for the right-hand golfer. I actually want to get my head more back so I can see the back of the ball. That's what I just naturally want to do. So when I look in a mirror as to where my eyes are set, my eyes are generally set back behind the ball. My left eye, quite often people will say, put your left eye over the ball. But that's for a right eye dominant person because they can then see the back of the ball with their right eye. Now it's a little bit in depth, but I'm just trying to give you an idea of the importance here. So sometimes head tilts are a result of someone wanting to see out of their right or wanting to see out of their left. So that's the number one fact. That's, that's just one fact to consider. So when we're putting, this eye dominance can play a huge role in how we see our, our putting lines. So Let's have a look at, um, I suppose I could ask you without you being here, if you, if you use a line on your ball, so down here I've got a, a ball lined up and, and that little red line, you know, if I lasered that, if I got in here and lasered that, you know, it points directly at the hole. Now, When we stand back where the camera angle is there from directly behind there, when we stand this way, the ball looks like it's aimed at the hole. 
And quite often, quite often if I came in here and stood over the ball, it would no longer look like it's aiming at the hole. So sometimes when we see, when we see from a, a right angle, for example, so if I'm looking at a right angle at the ball towards the hole, the line doesn't ever, it doesn't look like it's at the hole sometimes, not all the time, but it happened to me for a, for a number of years and I stopped using a line because I think I was going crazy. So I would line the ball up from behind and I'd get it pointing at the hole and then I'd stand over here on my putt and I'd say, this doesn't look right. It just didn't look right to my eyes. So then I would go back and stand behind the ball again and, and I'd, I'd come back in this direction. I'd look at the putt again, I'd look at the, the, the line and I'm like, the line's perfect. There's nothing wrong with the line. I'd come in here, stand over it and it looks, it, it looks all wrong. So why is that happening? Why can I not see the same from behind the ball, looking down at the hole, as opposed to in my setup position? And it's all got to do with your eye dominance and where your eye positions are set. So there's a little test, I didn't derive this test, but there's a little test I use to try and help out with your eye positions. Okay, so the first thing I do for this little test is I run my laser over the mirror and then I get three golf balls aimed at the hole. This is the ball that I'm going to hit. And then those three balls are lasered directly in line with the hole. Okay, so then these balls are actually lasered at the hole. And I've got a mirror here. I've got a little putting mirror that shows me where my eyes are as far as, you know, if they're outside the hole, uh, outside the ball, in line with the ball, or inside the ball. So basically, I will then stand over this mirror, trying to see, there's my eyes in there, hello. Trying to see where my eyes are, but also, I need to get, I need to rock my head back and forward. So my head's going backward and forward along here, right? Like this, forward, backward, forward, you know, like that. That's a bit weird, but yeah, that's what I'm doing, right? And I'm trying to get my eyes in a position that makes those three balls look like they're aiming at the hole. That's all. And it could be anywhere. I mean, there's a little bit to this, so I'm trying to keep it as simple as I can. But really, if I can't see those three balls when I'm at my setup position, if I can't see those three balls aiming at the hole properly, and they'll slightly move as I rock back and forward, then potentially my, where my eyes are positioned while putting, because of my dominance, could be wrong. And that's why when sometimes you line that ball up at the hole, it doesn't look like it's at the hole. So it's a little test I run everyone through. It's important to know whether you're left or right or dominant because it can, it can affect how your head wants to move. Um, and that's just a little intro into eye dominance and how it can affect how you see your putting lines.